Okay, and so that works pretty good. And we also want to have an image. And I really like using uh, this website, lorempixel.com, and you can select a, a variety of different options. I think cats is one of them. And let's say we want a square image, so 400 by 400. And what's nice about this too is you can do slash one, uh, it gives you a specific cat, and slash two, it gives you another specific cat. So it makes it really quickly to kind of create these high fidelity prototypes without a lot of work. Okay, so I'm just gonna add this to my image. Um, don't really need to do too much else. And there we go, here's my cat. And let's go ahead and expand this. Okay, so what's interesting, now we could start to build this out a little bit more specifically and even use Emmet to create a bunch of radically different changes. So what I usually might do is create like the basis of what I want, uh, start undoing it, and so and kind of reverse engineer what I want. So what we're gonna want here is a dot row, and then within that we have a large four columns. And then I'm gonna have within this uh, an image and the image source equals this. Okay. So yes, that's in fact giving what I would like. And then we need to go up a couple levels. So up the image and then up the div. And then I can go and take this but first I might want to add the large eight columns. <coughs> and I'm just hitting tab to see if everything's expanding the way I expect it to. It looks like it is. And then I can actually paste the rest of what I had. And so if I take this, I should be able to replicate this entire nested system. Right. So if I hit tab, save, do I get the same thing? Okay, not quite. So let's see what my mistake was here. And it looks like I went up too many levels. So let's go ahead and undo that and just remove one of these. Again, we can just do a spot check. Yes, this looks correct. Yes, this looks correct. Everything is in the right spot. Okay. And there we go. Now we have our cat, but notice it's a, a random cat, right? So we want to make some modifications here. So the first thing is, let's make a whole bunch of these. So like what happens if I want like three, if I do times three on the row, she give me three complete sets of this. Right? And, uh, but we want that cat to be different. So it's really easy. There's a placeholder here, a uh, dollar sign. And so when I do this, you'll notice that I get a one, two, and three. So it's very useful, right? Also, notice when I use Emmet to build this out, you also get this really great uh, specific lorem text. There we go, and here's our specific cats. So, so one thing I do with images, notice how they're all resting up against each other, and that's maybe not the best uh, look. And what I usually do is I just put them inside a paragraph. So here, if I use a paragraph first, and just go up one more level to get rid of the paragraph, see how that looks. There we go. So we now get this really nice spacing here. 